Right, real quick, I'm going to start with a question. What's the first scene from a film or TV show that comes to mind when I show you this? Was it Lo Pan in Big Trouble in Little China? Maybe Blade Runner? Perhaps that episode of Seinfeld? Are those episodes of the Big Bang Theory depending on your demographic? Or even Friends? If you like comedy, then maybe you recognise him from Balls of Fury. Or you might have just seen him in the fantastic Everything Everywhere All at Once. To be fair, you've got a lot to choose from because with upwards of 650 acting credits spanning TV, cinema and video games to his name, this man has a strong case as the most prolific actor in the history of recorded picture. If you can believe it though, that's not even the most impressive or awe-inspiring thing about this great man who at 93 years old and still active James Hong is an absolute beast an inspiration and an idol as well as the most prolific actor in film history Hong was born on February 22nd 1929 in Minneapolis Minnesota his father emigrated from Hong Kong to Chicago and later moved to Minneapolis where he owned a restaurant and was the leader of the local hip sing tong a Chinese American criminal organization Hong moved to Hong Kong as a young boy for educational purposes before returning to the United States at age 10 Hong began to study civil engineering to please his parents who as he put it would not even consider acting to be work and that cultural displaying your emotions in public is shameful so as professions go acting it's it's not ideal in the early 50s Hong was drafted in the United States Army to fight in the Korean War which had just erupted upon his safe return Hong moved to Los Angeles in 1953 with a friend where he would finish his degree at the University of Southern California for five years he worked as a road engineer for LA County while still acting and performing comedy in his spare time, he would get his start redubbing soundtracks of Asian films before finally appearing on the radio and television game show You Bet Your Life with Groucho Mart in 1954. A couple of years later, in 1956, Hong would receive his first scripted TV role when he was cast as Jimmy Ling in the Western Aviation Adventure series Sky King. This would begin a TV and film career that would take me entirely too long to lay out for you. I mean, it really is hard to get your head around it until you've looked at it written down. When I was doing his research and looking at his filmography, it's just so fucking overwhelming. I mean, it, it includes upwards of 300 TV credits, 150 film credits, 38 TV movie credits, 22 video game credits, and a seemingly endless stream of director TV and video movies. Alas, as mentioned before, this awe-inspiring back catalogue of work, for me, isn't even the most commendable thing about this man. You see, Hong No noticed something troubling about Hollywood. Specifically, the type of roles he was being cast in were, if we're being kind, we could say they were a little bit one note. But if we were being honest, we would say they were incredibly fucking racist. This was also a time where yellowface was prevalent in Hollywood. More often than not, if there was a larger role for an Asian character in a script, then they'd just cast Mickey Rooney or some shit. Hong and his friend Mako Oamatsu thought, fuck this noise, and they organized an Asian-American acting group which would feature Asian actors front and center, performing plays written by Asian playwrights, forcing the initial shift in the attitudes of the industry towards Asian performers. They aren't just simply gimmicks. The seed was planted. The seed that's only now just coming to fruition. It's a very slow process, as you can see. It took 70 years, what can I say? This theatre company would become the East West Players, the very first Asian American theatre organisation, and 57 years later, the longest continually running theatre of colour in the United States. Just a couple of months ago, on the 10th of May 2022, at 93 years of age, James Hong rightfully received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. 93 years old, he's 31 years older than the fucking Walk of Fame itself. Self, and he's shown no signs of stopping. I mean, he's just continuously building on what will no doubt go down as one of the most incredible Hollywood success stories that you can even imagine. I mean, through war and unbelievable racial adversity and professional prejudice, James Hong is what we should all aspire to be, not just as professionals who can conquer their industry, but as a fantastic human being, as just a straight up fucking good guy who has conquered our hearts for over 70 years. I mean, Jesus, long live his career, by the way. Long may it live on. I don't want to retire, you know? I'm due for a vacation, but I, I think acting is my vacation.